Chicago, Chicago, that wonderful town. I flew into Chicago from New, from the Rockies, and I landed in Chicago, and I thought, okay, interesting. And I got out the airport, and the first thing I found was that people were so, so helpful in pointing me in the right direction. And then immediately, within another five minutes, I found something that I'd not found since I've been in America. Once I got to Chicago, I found a working public transport system. That's the biggest thing I found in the West, that whether it be the Rockies, California or elsewhere, there is little, if any, in terms of public transport and that the automobile rules, the automobile and the plane, very, very little, if any, train travel and very little bus travel at all. But since I got to Chicago, hey, it all changed. Brilliant um, overhead tram and train system, very similar to the London Underground, except that it was overground. And I got to where I was going in Anderson's town. I got met by the wonderful Kate. And um, yeah, I had some really good hosts in Chicago. They were staying in Anderson's town, which well, I didn't know it at the time turned out to be the gay area. And it has to be said that in the two or three nights when I went out in Anderson's town, I, I did get chatted up four or five times. It's the only pickup lines I had in the whole of my journey through America and Canada. And they were all from gay guys. And it's like, whoa, what's going on? I mean, I'm not knowingly gay. Um, and the people I was with were just laughing. They're saying, it's because you're wearing black shiny shoes. So the next night I wore sandals and that made it even worse. I love Chicago. It's urban. It's gritty. It's working class. It's down to earth. I met a few interesting clients there. And I haven't got anything negative to say about Chicago. I really enjoyed my stay there. But having said that, would I go back there every twice a year? No. Maybe once a year. I just don't have that many clients there. Uh, I get the impression it's cold in winter. And whilst I was in Chicago, of course, I managed to get to the lakes. And of course, I touched Lake Michigan. So I touched the Pacific in, in California. And I touched Lake Michigan in Chicago. And it was only as I got to Lake Michigan, I looked at it and I said, well, what's that big fort out there? And, and the person I was with, she said, that's the water purifying system. And I thought, you purify salt water? I mean, of course, I realized that the Great Lakes are not salt water. I didn't know that. Anyway, Chicago was, uh, I got some good rest in Chicago and I got some good writing done. And I met a few interesting clients. And that was Chicago. Good food. I had my first ever vegan hot dog there. It was great. And then I moved to, then I crossed the border and I went to Toronto and I got a plane into the centre of Toronto, into the little city airport in the middle of the city. And as you come in, you look at Toronto and you see all the modern architecture, you see all the skyscrapers and the port and the bustling energy of it. And it looks so clean from the air. And then I landed in the city centre and do you know what? I got there and in 20 minutes, I was meeting up with a client there and that was great. And then I just thought, you know what? I want out of here. And I had a great time with my client in, in, in Toronto, went to a great restaurant, did the business, but then it was like, no, I want out. Because all the time I was in Toronto, I don't think I saw one tree. Admittedly, I was primarily downtown. But in that time, it, I, was, I had the option of staying there a day or two, and I just thought, no. All I saw was building work, construction, concrete towers, lots of plastic and glass. No nature, apart from water, which was filthy and a few dead fish and a few dead seabirds. And I thought, no, I'm just not right in Toronto. So I left straight away. And I'm, no disrespect to the people in Toronto, but didn't enjoy it. And it's one of those places where, you know, oh yeah, I'll go there again at some stage in the future, but it's not high on my list of places to visit. And then I left Toronto for what all of my friends told me would be the most boring part of my journey. I went to the city of Ottawa, of which more later, but Ottawa was fun. 